presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you been? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Become a servant of love. Love is what makes you happy. And if you become a servant of love and your partner becomes a servant of love, the day will come when you can be with each, when you can be with the, your partner with no guilt, no blame, no anger, and no sadness. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 435, NASDAQ's off 358. S&Ps are off 80, gold contract up $24.30, traded 1861 an ounce. You got silver up 9 cents, $23.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 368, $93.58 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 21 ticks right now, 126.14. 30-year up a full point at 152.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 481 ticks, trading 96.03. Euro's 113, yen is at 115.27, and the British pound is trading out here at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&P, let's go. Let's take a look at them. What do we got out here? Okay, so first, I'm going to bring up the futures. Let's take a look. The volatility is here in spades. There's no doubt about that. That being said, uh, this came right down to these... Highs of the lows, man, and this is a nice setup. And thus far, you know, so right now we had a low out here in the S&P of 43.98. Right now you're 20 points above that, okay? So the bottom line is that we're down 79. The real question is going to be, can this go down like 50 before the close? Because if that's what you get, that's, that, that to me would be a rejection of lower price as you came into the highs of the lows, because we're not, it's, the volume's not gonna get close. So that's the bullish scenario. The bearish scenario would be that if we close right here, we will go after this high volume low. You gotta remember something, that high volume low is out here at 42.12. That's gonna get tested. Um, and what does happen is that when we did this yesterday, when you take the whole top to the bottom, oh yeah, so this is cool, so check this out. Oh, this is really cool. I forgot about this part. So check it out. So when we take the highs to the lows, we did a counter trend bounce, folks, okay, going all the way up to a 0.618 of that move. So when you do a 0.618 retracement, it's, you know, nothing's always 100%, but your probability is right up there whether, you know, it's, it's a very good probability that you just come back down and test the lows. Now, if that's what we get, the cool thing about understanding the FIB expansion contraction right here is that you can get a lot less paranoid buying that low, first off, because you already did a 0.618 retracement. You come back down there, you, you know, bottom line is that if that's what we do, It'll be very nasty going down there that, 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 because it, they, they're not going to make this easy to buy. So that's, that's the positive. The negative would go like this. The negative would have us close here, and then you go sideways, and as you're going sideways, you're building more cars. We do not want to see that happen because if you see that happening, then this could be an ABC structure on the way down. That's your S&P. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite. I mean, the NASDAQ NDX futures. And 
they're much weaker. So, NQ. Okay, so, come on, baby. Okay, so we take a look at the futures. The NASDAQ futures, this is. They're already into that bar. So if we close here, this is going to go after them. And the positive deal going after them is that it's going to need a huge amount of volume. But, you know, we'll see. The NQs would have to close above 14,499. Uh, 499? Yeah, 499. So you're deep into them, man. So that's saying it wants to basically go after it. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract got... Big juice out here when Britain uh, turned around and also said they wanted their, their folks out of uh, Ukraine. And so you saw, you saw this, you know, basically go topside about uh, 130. You know, it was flat, then it went topside in a big way. Yesterday we got big volume. Today you got big volume. The saying gets gold going after this uh, 1882. That's how this baby's shaking out. The, if we go to the GDX and we take a look at a few of these gold equities, you're going to see the GDX, bottom line, this took out a B point, took it out with volume. So that's an ABC structure up. It's uh, 32, let's say 29. It's a small one. Three points give you 33.55. And your swing point up there is at 33.19. Um, the thing that's going to be a little dicey is this. I don't like that. Gold actually moved versus war versus inflation. Uh, when you get that, folks, uh, many times it's a one-day wonder, and you come right back down the other side. Uh, if we take a look at the dollar, what do you have with the dollar out here? Dollar's up 455 ticks. That's still having a hard time holding price. There's no doubt about that. Um, we take a look at, uh, let's go look at oil, man. Oil, at 107 on oil, man, is just laying out there. Yes, she is. Okay. So oil contracts up $3.82. You broke top side. Let's see, get another ABC. We're going to have another ABC up, man. This is wild. Okay. So this is uh, 93. Oh, there you go. 81, 12 bucks. 12, 90. There's 102. So you get a 102 A to B equals to C to D. Higher prices are coming out here, man, in the, inside the oil market. Well, the commodities are out there. There's no doubt about it. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, Advanced Micro is down $11. You have uh, Firm Holdings that's getting smoked again, down $12. NVIDIA is down $18. You get American Airlines down a buck and a half. Uh, Facebook's down $750. Um, Exxon is up $154. You get a, not only a true rotation out here, uh, which <laughs> what you have is that you do have a lot of damage. The real question is going to be, as it comes into the highs of these lows, is it going to be able to hold price? That's the real number out here. Dow Industrials right now trading up, uh, or trading down rather, 465. Nasdaq's off 379. S&Ps are off 83. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials uh, trading down a 490, Nasdaq off a 384, S&P's off 87. Let's go to our man Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, what's going on, brother? Oh, I'm doing great, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Great. Great to hear from you, man. Yeah, I, I hear you. When you're you always getting up early, man, calling in. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I've always been an early bird. I don't have a problem getting up and... You know, to exercise, to look at the market, whatever it happens to be. No, isn't it fun getting up early? It's so peaceful, man. I, I, I do the same thing, man. I mean, it's just 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning is a beautiful thing. I love it. Yeah, totally. So I had a couple, oh, couple questions for you. The first one, I heard you, you know, top of our update about gold, and I I agree with you. I'm, I'm a little concerned. I, my, my question, specific one, is about uh uh, Barrick Gold, G-O-L-D. Yes. There's some positives. I think it's breaking that swing point with volume today. It's it is. It's a big up day. I just, part of me is saying take, I mean, I can take half off and be free in the trades. I'm probably going to do that, but just wanted your thoughts on, you know, that's a hold over the weekend. It's always a little sketchy, but just wanted your thoughts on that if you could. So let's take a look at Barrick. Okay, so this is what you have here, folks, okay? Um, on a weekly basis, let's see. So it's going to be a little shot in volume on a weekly basis, too. Interesting, man. This is ready to break out, though. This is ready to pop up to this 23. Okay, so this is what ended up happening. Barrett came out with numbers this morning, folks, okay? And, you know, depending on how long you've been listening, you, I've had Mark Bristow on many times. I have been on for a couple of years. I'll try to get him on. He's one of the best operators in the business. I've all, I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, he owned Wrangle, put his own money into Wrangle. I suspect we go through this. He still has millions of dollars involved in Barrick. So the reason that you see Barrick up so dramatically today is this. What ends up happening with gold companies, are, of course, is that you're taking the ore out. And, you know, bottom line, Bar Barrick in particular, you know, sells millions of ounces of gold. They, they're, they're, they have millions of ounces and sell millions of ounces, right? Well, what happened is that they not only sold the millions of ounces, but guess what? They came in with a net positive that their reserves actually grew, okay? So for a gold company, that's very unusual, okay? So what happened is this, is that they went from having a reserve of 68 million ounces to 69 million ounces after selling millions of ounces. <laughs> so that's... A monster positive. Um, you know, <sighs> mm. 
Okay, so you take that out. The real question is, is that... Um, yeah, you can take some off. You can take some off. It, well, this is what I'm worried about. I, I can tell you this. I took some off of a few gold equities approximately 20 minutes ago. And this is what I'm worried about more than anything, is that when you get gold that moves because of Ukraine, right, that's not the movement we're looking for. You know, we're looking for the movement like an inflation type of movement. But now that doesn't mean that, you know, listen, it's going to happen and it's going to go. Because my take is my take is that gold's going to 2,500. So you're talking about time frames here, too. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, no, no, I understand. I, I think they might have their earnings next week, too. Okay, so that means that they came out. They, they, they're going to make money hand over fist, man, because they're, I mean, this guy's always made, yeah, the 16th. The 16th, you know, and that, that, that reserve deal is a big deal, though. That meaning, you know what I'm saying? So they came out with that this morning. When they came out with that this morning, it's like, okay, you sold millions of ounces of gold, but yet you have another, you know, million ounces now because of the fact that they're so big anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? And that they didn't buy into that. That's, that's what they're kind of explaining, that they didn't buy into that. They didn't buy another company in order to get those million ounces. They had it. Do you know what I mean? In reserves. And so it, it's, it's a big deal. Hey, listen, t take, take a quarter of it off or a third of it off. Do you know what I'm saying? I would take something off. Let's put it that way. You know, yeah, because yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And I did have one other question. I sent you an email. I'm not sure if you got that or not. It's, it's a smaller company, something I've followed for a long time. And the only thing I even wanted to, if you could just do it for me on your, you can look and see no, what, right what now. kind of trades have been made, block trades have been made. Sure. And I just wanted to see it. Just looking back the last three days, if there's anything to what show. It, so here, let me, so what happens, folks, is this. I don't have my emails when I'm on because what ends up happening, I get so much junk email, it just doesn't work for me, okay? So, um, and I appreciate you sending me an email. I'm not saying that. I just want people to understand that I don't have emails when I'm on here. Um, it's on a separate computer. But what was the symbol, Brent? Yeah, I actually sent it to you last night, but maybe you didn't see it. It's, um, uh, it's a Z, yep. S, A, N, okay. Z, San. Oh, I, got I just it. wondered, yeah, if you could take a look and see it. It came down because they offered some shares, and so it took a hit back on Wednesday, I think it was. And I just wanted to see if over the last three days, has there been any kind of block trades that happened, you know, okay. as far as people buying it or, or not? Or was take, it just all yeah, people dumping shares? Let's take a look. Twenty-two. No, there's no twenty-twos up here. If you're watching Tiger you TV, you can see it right here. Um. No. So, yeah. Um. This is what is. It must be a biotech, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, I don't see anything there. There's there's nothing there. Yeah. Nothing in the last three days at all. No, I it, it, when I bring the, when I do bring this up, it, it brings it up further than that actually. So, like if we if we look at it first, I'll get the buy. So twenty two would be what we'd be looking for in here is twenty two at the end, and there's all twenty one dates, and the same with uh, the cells. What is interesting, you see that right at the very top, that Renaissance Technology. That's interesting, man. They made but they sold it September of twenty one. They had 1.1 million shares. Renaissance folks, you you always want to watch Renaissance because they're the one of the most successful you know traders out there, man. So, yeah. Okay, brother. Have a great right, one, man. Thank you so much, Tom. Have a great weekend. You also, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Um, okay, let's see. We got a lot to do, uh, and I want to get this done. Uh, okay, so do you think uh, the 10-year yields now at 1.9 versus two? Before Ukraine, Russian news. No, that this is this is where my take is on notes and bonds, folks. Okay, what has happened is here is this: there's not enough people on Wall Street that has ever seen inflation. They just don't. I mean, it is what it is, man. Okay, um, you know, bottom line, you know, I'm, I'm 71, right? And you know, yeah, I just barely saw it when I bought my first house. Uh, you know, at uh, 14 and a half percent. So. My take is that it's going to be very choppy and people really just don't understand 
number one, how fast the rates can go up. And they're going to go up fast. They're not going to get Larry Summer out there today pumping out that, okay, you know, you shouldn't be buying more in, you know, the next month. That's, that's not going to make any difference of where we are, okay? That, that's the bottom line. What I do expect we, we are going to see, though, is that you're going to see rates go up. Now, that being said, you know, like I said earlier, I have plenty of mortgages at 4.5%. The mortgage rate went down to 2.3%, okay? So we're going to go up 2 more percent to get to 4.5%. And I think we'll do that. I, I think we're going to see that, okay? And, you know, you have to deal with that. That's the bottom line. And, you know, if you do that ratio, every 100000 you know, what a percentage is going to cost. Because it's going to make a difference because it brings things the opposite way. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 468. You get the NASDAQ off 387. S&Ps are off uh, 83. Okay, so we get a few gold stocks that, uh, of course, we got to look at. We got a lot of tigers into the gold and equities. You know, when you get a pop out here, it's important to basically look at them. We're going to start first off with GFI. GFI going for its highs. It's up 78 cents right now. Um, that high is uh, 11.78. And, you know, bottom line is that you get 5.4 million. You're going into nine, you know, but you just took out the consolidation. So it looks to me like, yeah, more than likely it's going to probably get there. I mean, it just had another little surge. The um, real question is, is that, you know, do you take a little off the table? You know, that's, that's a personal choice. We go into uh, an eco-eagle, not an eco-eagle, uh, Anglo Ashante, uh, this little baby, also going higher. Uh, bottom line is that you just took out uh, the B points, so this is an ABC up. 
So let's see what we got here. This is a nice, well, let's, that's, it's a small one, but it's all right. Two, 20, 22, 19. That's uh, okay. So you get approximately a buck and a half. That gets you to 2075, and you're at 2078. So this is doing a little ABC, but you just got to where you actually should be. Let's get a Bob in South Carolina. Hey, Bob, what's going on? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doesn't get any better than this. You know, you know what's so funny? It's always funny uh, saying, let's go to Bob in South Carolina and you get a Boston accent, man. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. I know that. Um, it's just great. I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, the accent will never leave. Let's put it, it thank God. That, that, we're the only ones who know how to talk, man. <laughs> Well, I haven't met anybody from South Carolina living here, so that's that's the way it is. So that's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. So, <laughs> Park City Group, right? Yes, Park City Group. Okay, let's take a look. The low is four eighty, the high is ten sixty seven. That's today, and then what the heck happened? So you hit ten sixty seven today, and then get smoked. Yeah, that's weird. Look at that. Huh. Okay, so let's see what we got. Wow. Okay, so do you own this? I was thinking of an entry point on this stock. Okay, then no, the, the, I was going to tell you, just sell it. The entry point is like way down at the, uh, this gap will get filled, man. This is going to, you know, it got it got the 1067 today, gave it up on price. You're at 865. You know, this was, this was trading at $5.39 10 trading days ago. That's where it's going to go back wow. to. Yeah. Just let this come okay. all the way back. The, the the first place that it should test is, you know, what happened is this, folks. You come off the you come off the lows on the twenty seventh of February, with strength. There's no doubt, you, real real good strength. But you know, when stocks go like this, wildfire, man. The bottom line is that you can come right back, and at least test the breakout area. So, what got this thing going so good, man? Do you know? Uh. The only thing I know is that it's uh, been a hot stock that I've been following, and uh, okay. it just spiked like out of crazy, just out of curiosity. I was just wondering what would be a good entry point. That's yeah, no, no, I'm with you. I would, I would wait for it to go back to that sign of strength, and then what you're looking for, you're looking for a contraction of volume. Those two, two sides, those two days of sign of strength got big volume. You got 914 million, and then you got uh, 880, and you can see. Then what you did is that you made high highs with nothing. You got today, you only get 219,000. They just laid off a huge amount of, uh, let me go see. I can see this for a second. Let's see, put this up. 891. Yeah, I don't see any, I guess, uh, who's ever trading this is pretty smart, actually. They're, they're not moving a lot of product at once. They're moving five or 6,000 shares at once. Um, you know, but that was, that was still too much for the marketplace. So just let that baby, it'll, it'll pull back. You put, if you pull back with lighter volume, reject lower price, bang, you want to be in that for sure. Okay. Cooking uh, brother. Look at one more, Nova Gold, Oh yeah, no, no, MG. go ahead, sure. Yes. What is the symbol? Uh, NG, Nova Gold. Oh yeah, sure. Let's go take a look. We got Nova Gold. Uh, the low out here is, uh, 596 for the past 52 weeks. The high is 1045. You're trading up 38 cents. Okay, so you at least got, got some juice there. I mean, this, you know, this is looks like it's going to try to, you know, get up to this next level of 730. Um, you're taking the swing out. Okay, so you get small ABC up. 656. Let me see if it's on ABC on the weekly, too. It's not on the weekly, but it's on the daily. Okay, so let's go back to the daily. And we'll do it the most conservative way, which is right there, which is 617. So, oh, good. It's a buck and a half. So 785. And you're, that's good. Mm -hmm. So it's 785. So that's saying it's going to go for the next swing point. Take the swing point out. And if you get that, then you're going to go for this uh, 834, man. That's how that's set up. Okay. And uh, one other thing before I go there, Tom, I just wanted you were talking about pizza the other day in East Boston. Yes. <laughs> San Tapio's is in Eagle Square, in case anyone ever asks you. So. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. I knew that's, you know what? I never knew the name of that square. That is, yeah. uh, that is so cool. You just said that, right? Right next to the expressway. Wouldn't it be cool if right. we just had a button? Like, we need a, we didn't call Musk and tell him, hey, we need buttons that you just hit a button 
You can transport yourself wherever you want, get a nice pizza, get a nice hot fun Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, but most places are hole in the walls. You know what I mean? That uh, people want to go to. I mean, uh, they, they had they've had fantastic pizza for years. You know, they had. So. Listen, I, 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 okay. So here's the story. I think I told the story before. When I was opening my pizza place, folks, I had the Royal House of Pizza. I was the first Irish guy that had a Greek pizza place. Okay, so check it out. I had a restaurant before that, and I was. When I was going to this, my supplier all the time, man, I'd see all these pizza guys, man. They're buying so much cheese. I'm saying to myself, man, this is a business. Bottom line, the supplier hooked me up with um, one of the pizza guys, a Greek guy, great guy. They called him Professor, taught me how to make Greek pizzas, right? Um, bottom line, got it going, had a blast. Now I just, lo I just lost my train of thought. Why am I telling you this story? What, what are we just talking about? Um, Pizza. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pizza. Oh, I know. I, th so this would end up happening. So when I was on this whole crusade, what I, what I ended up doing, I ended up going over to Santapio's because I love pizza anyway. Santapio's and Regina's, I, I'd pick up all the garbage, man, and throw it in my car so I could go through the whole thing and figure out what they were using for sauces, for cheeses. <laughs> I knew the cheese for everything. And then I turned around and I had the Greek pizza, but then I added a few. Because one of the tricks, folks, if you're making pizza, one of the, well, one of the tricks most of us all know, in the sauce, sugar. Sugar is the big deal. There's no doubt. that. And the cheese, though, what happens is throw in a little Romano cheese and throw in Parmesan, okay? And it makes it totally different. Um, so it's pretty cool. But I, I remember going through their garbage in a big way, man. <laughs> Seriously. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. I appreciate it. Okay, man. You, you have a great one and a safe one. You too. Bye-bye. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials are down 501. Nasdaq's off 404. S&Ps are off 88. Um, gold. Gold's up uh, 26 bucks. Silver's up 12. Oil's up 350. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down on a six. 18, NASDAQ's off 450, S&P's at 103. So what we have here now, let's bring this baby up because what this is saying is that we are going to go after the lows on Monday, folks. So let's bring it up. Let's see how we're looking here. What do we got? Uh, you only get 15 minutes. It's not going to be buying here, man. I mean, I, you know, you get a day like today, I just don't see it. Um, you know, you, you, the NASDAQ already dug into the highs of the lows. So this puts the low on... Basically game right now. We're at 43.89. The highs of the lows of 44.17. Well, yeah. That's, let me go to the NQs because the NQs I have dug so far into the highs of those lows that that's saying that this is going to go after it. Now, the, this is what the cool thing is, okay? There's no doubt that, you know, over the weekend, you come down hard. It's pretty dicey. There's no doubt about that. But you can see with the NQs... You know, that high, the low is 13,706. So that can be done pretty easy because we're down 500 points today. You're doing another 500. Uh, let me just see how the volume is situating right now. So volume-wise, we have, yeah, it's going to be big volume too. So we're at 4.3 billion right now. That's going to do 5.1, 5.2. Yesterday we did 5.1. Inside the NYSE... We're at 751. We did a billion yesterday. That looks like it's going to do a billion too. Let's look at some of the higher volume equities here because this is going to be a high volume market on the way down. Uh, put the S and let's see, SPX. Okay, so inside Microsoft off six, NVIDIA. Let's go look at uh, NVDA. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So you're down, you're down good, you know. That's, this wants to test the lows too. And the real question, the real question inside of like something like this is that are these going to be large ABC structures on the way down? Because if they are, this is a three thirteen. Yeah, it's a it's a hundred and five A to B, which would give you uh, one sixty four. Let me see, let's go see what's at 164. Because NVIDIA likes doing ABCs down and up. 164, was, there it is. 162 is the highs. 162 is the highs of uh, before it started going topside in uh, May of uh, 2021. You know, that's what it looks like we're going to have. And if that's what we get, hmm, that's going to be pretty intense, man. That's going to give it all up. Going right back to May of 2021. That's, what it, that's, how, that's how this looks like it's setting up right now. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, small caps, IWM. That's not in bad shape, see? You know, if you, if, on Monday, folks, if you're looking for something that you might want to get into, this might be where you want to go. You can see the small caps, two different things end up happening now with the small caps. They have been going down for almost three months um, they're going down since November 8th, okay? You know, you had 244, you went all the way down to 168, one, 188. You didn't bounce as much, but you can see what's going on on the way down. We don't have an expansion of volume on the small caps on the way down. You know, the small caps are coming into uh, 58 million, you get 36. 
You come in at the 61, you get 36. You come in at the 85, you get 36. So if you're hunting for something, um, you know, the small caps could very be very well the, the place that you want to hunt. That's, that's how this is shaking out. Let's go take a look at the yen because one of the reasons also that gold moves so dramatically is that the yen gave it up. The yen was up at, the, at, the, at its highs, meaning the highs the last five or six months, um, then gave it up intraday. You know, so we're down 73.6. We'll see if this thing wants to get to that 113. Right now, you're trading out at 115. Yeah, and so, hey, this is going to be so cool. So Super Bowl, right? Of course, what you have, I don't know if uh, you folks, if any of you folks listen to Norm Winsky today um, with Larry. And, you know, he's always great having on with Larry. And the, the key is, you know, uh, uh, Tigress in the den here, uh, go Cincinnati. And, you know, we know Cincinnati's the Tigers, right? They're the underdog. So the bottom line is that, you know, I suspect that they're the ones that just very well may, uh, may do it. Um, what Winsky was talking about is that the mantra, it's about a 75% deal, is that if the, um, the January is down instead of up, the bottom line, you'll have a, you know, a down, a down year. Um, the American League versus the... Uh, uh, National League, uh, bottom line sets up that if the American League wins, the bottom line, you get a bad market also. <laughs> so it's going to get interesting. But anyway, I, I think, uh, and now this year here, of course, okay, there's so many places that you can gamble. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing legally, um, you know, so this is going to be pretty cool uh, watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we'll see if those Cincinnati, the, is it the, I think it's the, it's Cooper. That end for the Brams is just, that guy is like over the top. I mean, beyond belief over the top. There's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at the, uh, a couple of the equities inside the oil market, Exxon Mobil. Okay, so it's got volume. This is good, man. You know, Exxon's been on a tear, you know, three months ago, Two months ago, it was at 57. You're at 80 bucks. You pull back with light volume. See how the volume's expanding again? Bottom line is that that's saying you can get a lot higher price, man. That's how that, that's how that is shaking out. Um, MSFT. Let's go see some of these big dogs, though. Microsoft. That's not bad. See, this is how the, this is how the market should have, well, if, if it wanted to bounce, this is how it would have come into the highs or the lows. Microsoft's doing it right now, but you see what's going on? 297.11 is the high of the low of Microsoft. We got to 294. It rejected 294. You're coming into 86 million shares and you only did 31. That's the type of setup that you want to look at, folks, okay? Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy Microsoft today either, okay? Because the bottom line, uh, if we get this close um, at lows, it, you know, it'll be a rough Monday morning. Uh, the tick, uh, they got, they got some fear going for sure. The tick is a minus uh, 1768. So that means that simultaneously, uh, you got a huge amount of selling. That huge amount of selling took place at uh, two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock's the biggest one. What we don't have yet is that trend. That trend, the five day trend, is still not on an aspect that you want to make any kind of bottom. You know, what I would do out here, bottom line, get used to volatility, get your kind of your buys together, what you'd like to buy, and start taking a look at the lows that are established versus and how we are coming into the highs of those lows. Because they'll stick out like a sore thumb, folks. That's the bottom line. And that is the equities that you want to get into. Let's go take a look at Newmont, the big dog Newmont inside the gold market. Yeah, see, uh, this is this is interesting, man. Newmont doesn't have enough volume either. We've had great price spread today. You get three and a half points, but guess what? You get a contraction. This is a close call, man. It's a close call. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 480. Nasdaq's off 375. S&Ps are off 83. Let's take a look inside the Dow and where what we have uh, happening out here. Winners versus losers. It looks like we have um, uh, so Chevron and this uh, Verizon, uh, only ones uh, that really are up. Uh, Chevron's putting 17 positive points. Verizon's putting two, taken away from its Salesforce, minus 65. You got United Health, 55. These are all minuses. Goldman, 51. Microsoft, 46. Inside the NDX, 100. Inside the NDX, we know what that is, man. That's all the chip companies. You got AMD down 10%. You got Xilinx down 10%. Uh, Marvell Technology, that is off 8%. Uh, and you got uh, Lucid off 7.5. Uh, Ray Gineron is up three. You got, uh, what's this one? Oh, Constellation Brands is up two. Let's go look at this. So is this about, what is this about? This is about, this gets interesting here. Yeah. No, this ain't Constellation Brands. What is this? Constellation Energy, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go over this. Let me go over these pot stocks that have got smoked. Okay, so they start to get a little juice. Let's see, the question is, oh, I see, this is a small ABC up. So the B point here was 861. So you got two bucks, that's 955. Yeah, it almost did it already. Let me put this on a monthly first. Because what you, what you do have is that this is just a matter of time and these things have got smoked, and, you know. Yeah, 
You know, th these are something to look at, folks, okay? Yes, they, they got smoked, and that's a pun. Get those big, what, um, what do the Jamaicans call them? Uh, spliffs. Get those big spliffs going. That roll that big, big, fat one. This one here, um, this is something to look at. That's the bottom line. You know, you, you came back to the breakout area. 8, 859 was the breakout area. You went to 664. Uh, MG, let's get that done first. Uh, M MJ, MJ, okay, MJ. I think that's the, is that the ETF for it? So MJ, alternative high, that's up, that's 1088. Yeah, same deal, same deal. Got smoked, going higher. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at them, folks. Building wealth 